right now, here is a, a documentary by one of our team, Tommy Kramer, and here is his film. is that it was like having your spine snapped in two. It was brutal. Like dropping a bowling ball on your foot. Anything else? I don't think I liked it. I used to be afraid of being dragged face down on a rough concrete sidewalk with my front teeth scraping against the cement. <sighs> I used to hate having these eight inch wide bubbling blue blisters all over my neck. Now the only thing that bothers me is waking up to the sound of Scottish bag. <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. That didn't hurt now, did it? No, Dad. I'm Dr. Leonard H. Sylvian. You know, with the advent, the help, as it is, of primetime television, government agencies, um, technological research. Soon, the possibility of feeling pain will be completely eliminated from our lives. The history of the ending of pain is obscure, but we have found a young pioneer in the field. Charles Droll, age 34. Charles Droll came to our clinic about 10 years ago looking for some way to eliminate pain from his life. We had first considered scraping any pumas from the mandibular section of his brain. Then there was the possibility of suctioning out any abscesses from the pubulus glands. Finally, we decided to subject him to acupuncture. Charles Droll claims his life has been enriched by the use of acupuncture and the bone to his normal daily routine. There are many misconceptions about pain in the dental chair. But with today's anesthetics and the up-to-date improvements in oral surgery, we believe pain has fairly well been eliminated from dentistry. In fact, we like to think that a visit to the dentist is now a pleasurable and gratifying experience. You feel it's just a passing day? Oh, no, not at all. You can rest assured there's no longer any reason to be afraid of the dentist. <laughs> this is our city's stimulating sports arena, and the stunning essence of Noah King is spreading. But, to be thoroughly convinced, it's good to hear it from the right mouth. With me is Pauline Craven, a member of the Mayor's Committee on Comfort. Pauline, it's no secret you recently had some complicated head surgery. So, is there anything you could tell us that would ease the worries of prospective patients? <laughs> But it's a comforting thought, and it's true. Pain doesn't hurt anymore. Business of life. 